Hi everybody, Hannah Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. Um, I'm jumping on before the pool gets really crowded and I'm talking a little quiet because people are around me. So, I was listening to something this morning and I want to share a little bit with you. It brought up stuff for me. Are you really who you are because it's your authentic you? Or are you who you are because it was what was imposed upon you as a child? Um, somebody's here. Hi. <laughs> Diane. Hi. Um, so here's the deal. When you were a child, were you told, uh, why am I realizing this? I walked through the park last night, and it was a young kid with two sisters. He must have been seven or eight, and the mother, and he was on a, like a scooter, and they were having so much fun, and he was in his joy and excitement, so happy and yelling, and the mother saying, lower your voice, be quiet, be ca don't be so loud. And I thought, wow, if I could do it over again with my kids, I absolutely would not be a mother saying that. Why not? Why does he have to be quiet? He's in the park. He's having fun. Let him express the joy. So it got me thinking, when you were little, were you a little girl that just was playful and, and, and your own exuberance and everyone said to you, be quiet, shh, not so loud. Or were you a little girl that liked to, to be quiet and your mother and father would say, go outside, be with your friends. Were you um, someone whose mother said, oh, you're just like your father and so you went into business. Or you're just like your mother, you never speak your mind. So, I mean, really people? like. So who are you today? Are you you? Or is this the layered on, suck the life force out of us stuff I've been talking about? You know, so often I felt like a bull in a china closet. I ran Anne Klein to an $80 million business. Donna Karen was the designer. We worked side by side for eight years. She made it, I sold it. Um, I've talked about the imposter syndrome. Uh, but I always felt like a bull in a china closet. I felt that my success was through the force of my personality. And, you know, I was that word with a B and a Y at the end, B-I-T, right? Very much so, threw my weight around. My ego was filled. And over the years that I've been doing this work, I am so much more me. Do I have those moments? Of course I do. Do I like them today? Yeah, I do. Because nobody's telling me you're, like, I felt like, Everyone had the, would have the goods on me if they found out who I really was. And today, because I who I am who I really am, with all those flawed bits and pieces, it doesn't matter what anyone finds out, right? Especially when you date a guy or you get married. What if he really finds out who I am? What if he, he'll leave? You know the number one fear of all women is that he will leave. Okay. Today, I own all of those pieces, and that's the point I want to make here. Who are you? And own it. You're not broken, and you don't need fixing. You are flawed. Perfectly flawed. You were made this way. Own the flaws, flip the coin, because it's always two-sided, and own the beauty. There's beauty behind every flaw, and there's a flaw behind every beauty. Learn to flip your coins. It's filling up around here, and I'm getting very self-conscious about my speaking. So I just want to wish you all a wonderful, for everyone that's Jewish, as Shavuos, it's a two-day holiday. I will not be online. Um, I want you to enjoy your families. I want you to have fun. I want you to learn your Torah. I want you, you've left Egypt. Torah is a new beginning. Cut the momentum of the past. Let go of that rope that you're pulling all that gook with. Open your hands, receive, and enjoy. That's my message to you. You are beautiful women. I love you. And I will see you next week. Hag Sameach, everybody. Bye-bye.